New at six, we are hearing from the grandmother of a two month old baby who died after being found unresponsive in a Newport housing complex. The baby's 17 year old father has been charged with felony child endangerment in family court. NBC 10's Katie Benoit joins us live from the Festival Field Apartments with more on what we're learning tonight. Katie. Hey Sam, we're learning tonight that the baby's name is true. Now there's a small memorial set up here in the apartment complex. I spoke to the baby's grandmother who says she's heartbroken and looking for answers. Dear, I write dear. Balloons, pinwheels and a teddy bear set up outside the Festival Field Apartments in Newport. I'm hurt, broken, you know, I'm numb, he's a lovable little baby, the little bit of time we did share with him. Loeda Jones is Baby True's grandmother. She says first responders were called to her apartment Thursday night. Police tell us the two month old was found unresponsive. Life saving measures were performed, but the baby was pronounced dead at the hospital. You think it was an accident or was the baby in the crib? It was what an accident? Uh, the baby passing away. What, what, what do you think happened? I, I really, I really don't know what happened. I know the baby had some issues, but I really don't know what the issues was. While it's unclear what led up to the baby's death, police say a 17 year old was charged with felony child endangerment. Jones identified that teen as her son. He's being held at the training school. Jones says she's hoping to get answers and closure from the baby's autopsy. All I can really say is my son was a good dad and also true had a good mom. If they're was something that did happen and take place, I can assure you it wasn't murder, it wasn't intentional, whether it came from my son's side or whether it came from the mom's side, because they both was good parents and they both loved their child unconditionally. The medical examiner's office says they're still investigating and the cause of the baby's death has not yet been determined. Live in Newport, Katie Benoit, NBC 10 News.